And he picks different ones and he uses them like Moses. Remember when he called Moses? Moses felt like, uh, there's no way you could use me, Lord. The Lord says, I want you to go down and see my people um, in Egypt delivered out. Uh, Moses I, you know, says, I can't do that, Lord. There's no way. Uh, look at me. I can't even speak. And, this. and then what did the Lord say to Moses? What's in your hand? And Moses, what did he have? He had a stick. Well, we don't even know where he got the stick. Remember, he was a shepherd at the time. He could have been, he could have found it, carved a little bit on it, did something in it, but it's just an insignificant, it's his shepherd's staff. We don't know anything about it. But the Lord says to him, throw it down. In other words, give it to me. And when he gave it to him, you know the story. It turned into a serpent. I mean, and then was used. When he put that in the in, down into the into the Nile River, it turned to blood. And when he raised it up, the Red Sea opened. I mean, great things happened with that staff or that shepherd stick that Moses had why he gave it to God and I thought you know the simplest people when they just give everything to the Lord they begin to see the most amazing things happen in their life just in other words you just give it all when you give it all you will see some and and here's the thing about the Lord he always requires us to give it all you know that he wants it all and he will always do what you can't do, but you need to do what you can do. You need to give what you have, turn over what you have. I remember another amazing story. 